Hi, I'm Heather from FinSet and a lot of you have been asking us questions about our Fibricolor range and I thought I'd actually ask the right person the question. So today I've got Elena. Elena, do you want to introduce yourself and tell everybody what you do? Um, uh, my name is Elena Seixas. Uh, I'm based in Santiago where our uh, headquarters are um, and the majority of the factories as, as well. Um, um, I'm working in the in the robot uh, department. Uh, we um, in our department we work like uh, it's, it's a link between uh, the, the the customer needs uh, and the possibilities of of our our factories or our lines as well. We try to combine uh, both and develop things and develop new products as well uh, as uh, uh, the fibra color range. Excellent. So our, our makers and creators love this fibra colour and uh, I've, I've, got, I've got some of their questions that have asked us via Instagram. So we'll start with the board. Just talk us through, um, how would you describe fibra colour to someone who hasn't seen it before? Uh, fibra colour, um, the fibra colour is, uh, is a big range, um, are based in, in uh, one particular product, it's a, MD, a colored MDF, a full colored MDF. Um, it's a technical product, but uh, but it's a decorative product as a raw board as well. Uh, this board is particularly um, uh, important in projects, in uh, shop fitting, uh, also for furniture. So for those who haven't seen Fibricolor, where have you been? Uh, so mm -hmm. this is this is some of our range. So yeah. this is uh, this is just but a small selection. So we have our yellow, our red, uh, one of our blues, uh, and one of our greys. Mm -hmm. Those who've been watching the feed over the past few weeks, you'll have seen that we uh, have supported uh, Space Popular, uh, an architectural studio, to use our Fibricolor Black in the RIBA at London. Um, uh, exhibition and it's gone down really well. They've actually turned that virtually uh, so you can still engage with that while sitting at home during the pandemic. The Fibricolor range, um, people have loved our Hydrofugo because they've learned what it's had the board's actually made of. What's this board made of and how is it made? And we, uh, we use um, local wood to create this product. We make uh, fibers um, from, from this local wood. Uh, major, the majority of the good is uh, from from pine, from from maritime pine, um, and then we milled uh, this uh, this um, this this uh, particles, and we create a, a, a very thin uh, fibers that we uh, and, and and the 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 post treatment is to uh, add uh, mineral and organic uh, dyes to 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 these fibers. Uh, to create, um, a, we create a mix, and and after that, uh, uh, during the process, we uh, we create the mud and and also the pressure and temperature, and that's it. That we have the the bore. <laughs> One of the uh, reasons why people choose to use the Finsa fibra color range is because the color and the flecking um, mm -hmm. is really good, and it's it's solid throughout. Um, I know that in uh, some of our competitors, this it's it's not as true. So we've had some of that feedback um, through from the customers. Well, the key aspect of, of the fibra color is it's a very uh, homogeneous board. Uh, there is no um, uh, uncolored fibers on on the on the um, on the surface. Also, you don't have um, this. Um, um, these sticks on the when when you uh, machine uh, when you machine the the bore as well because the one one of the the big um, um, uses to to uh, of this product is is use a, a CNC for example and it's very important to to have a a, a really good surface and that is because the our 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 bore is created with fiber uh, with colored fibers with uh, less uh, uncolored fibers and uh, less um, sticks on on the on the surface and in the in the in the bore that is related with uh, our knowledge I, I, we we know uh, um, the um, the needs uh, and and for that reason we we developed this this product uh, as it is i mean uh, with the um, in in other cases you can see the the sticks and also the 
a colored, uh, um, non-colored uh, uh, fibers on top. That is because the the, the fibers in, in other cases could be uh, very thick. Uh, there is uh, less uh, refined uh, um, fibers and the, the dyes uh, cannot uh, um, penetrate, um, introduce uh, um, good, uh, the, I mean, uh, you cannot uh, uh, obtain a good uh, uh, colored fiber when you have a, a, a bigger uh, particle. So you heard it here first. The reason why our boards are truer color is because we mill uh, a finer uh, particle mm -hmm. and that's what helps mm -hmm. the dye cling to it. That's really, really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Which country, uh, whereabouts is this made? Uh, we produce this product in, in two MDF factories. One is in Galicia and in, in the northwest of, of Spain. Uh, where we are based, and and the other one is uh, is in France, in the in the south uh, west of uh, uh, of uh, France, and in that particular area, as I said, we the majority of the of the wood is local. Uh, we uh, obtain this wood from um, a, a sustainable uh, managed uh, managed uh, forest. Uh, the majority pine. Uh, there are, uh, um, there are uh, fin uh, pine forests in that area and also in, in Galicia and, and uh, there is where, uh, uh, where, where the factories are. <laughs> Fantastic. You mentioned there around sustainability and obviously Fintan mm -hmm. is, is working you know, really hard to, to, to create as sustainable mm -hmm. products as possible and we get asked this quite a lot. Are the dyes um, environmentally friendly? The, the dyes are uh, or mineral and organic uh, dyes. We use the different dyes uh, because we have different colors and we mix to the fibers, but are, are uh, or, um, mineral and organic uh, dyes. Fantastic, okay. Um, just a couple of technical questions for some of our users. Um, people have been asking, how do you seal it? So I've got sort of a few options here and you can see that this side is uh, matte and it's unsealed. And then this side mm -hmm. had sealed. So how can you finish the board? Um, the majority of the, our customers apply transparent or, or, or matte varnish on, on, on the surface. And it's very important as well to, to seal uh, the particularly all the board, but particularly the, the edges, because the edges capture more moisture than the rest of, of the board. And it's very important to seal the, the edges with, um, with a sealant. Or, and before to apply the, the, the varnish. Uh, there are different options uh, with the robe or... We've got a guy, um, Design Onion, if you're, uh, if you're following him on Instagram, he's creating a kitchen out of the blue one. And he's mm -hmm. using the blue uh, and he's matching that with, I think it's one of our oak veneers uh, and he's mm -hmm. gonna make a kitchen. So we'll be able to showcase that in his journey through that over the next few months. So uh, really, these boards are all about the art of the possible and whatever you want to create that they're, they're there for. Um, okay, last question um, from one of our users was what made us decide on these colours? Why these colours? Why is there no purple or green or uh, anything else or orange? Why? Who's decided on these colours? In Vinsa there is um, a design department. Uh, we um, we heard the, the customer needs as well, uh, but the, we, the, we, when, 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 when we um, uh, create a, a, this, um, a decorative product or a new design or a new texture, um, the, the, the design department is involved in, in, this, uh, in this decision. And they, uh, they follow the uh, other, other uh, sector, uh, other sectors uh, like the fashion, for example, the fashion sector is not just the uh, follow the, um, the uh, our industry. I mean, and, and the, um, it's, it's, we try to um, combine different trends uh, because when uh, you are at home, for example, or uh, you are in a shop, you will see um, uh, not just uh, boards, you will see uh, textiles, 
you will see uh, different paints on, on the walls and you need to, to mix these this, uh, this things to, to create a, um, a product like, like the Fibra color. Okay, that's really helpful. Um, from me to you, thank you for lending us your time today because I know you're extremely busy uh, and I really appreciate it. And I know that our followers uh, will as well. So uh, thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully we'll see you next thank time. Thank you, Heather. Take care. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.